Shadow the Demon Lords, guess. Singular, actually. Totally, brother, totally. Give you guys a little so map. Ready. Little map Draws of the Northern the Reach here, right? So we'll uh we'll sync this view up with everyone. Now see where the pointer is. We're kind of right in the middle of this is the northern reach. And this is <clears throat> basically the northern reach is a buffer zone between the rest of Earth, well, the rest of the continent and the desolation. The desolation is to the north. The des desolation is a pretty bad place. Even though at this time there's a lot of bad shit happening. I mean, a lot of bad stuff. So, for this campaign, we're going to be staying in the northern reach for now. We may travel north. In fact, we will definitely be traveling north. How far north? I don't know yet. Well, I know, but I'm not going to tell you, because we're only in the first session. So, alright. You already told us we're going north, then. <clears throat> But how far north? I'm kind of leaving you guessing. It could be north just to maybe the Crusader states. And then we could visit Westhold, Martyr's Point, Neverfall, all the keeps before Desolation. We could just go there and join hands and sing Kumbaya and just roleplay all night. We could do that. I'm sure each one of these places has a menagerie that we can kind of uh, escape from, Willie. <laughs> right. So the Northern Reach. You know, not only in the Northern Reach, but the entire, the entire Earth, and basically it's Earth, U R T H, and the prophets. I mean, these guys, these are dark times. I mean, seriously, dark times. You know, the prophets, the oracles, they've all foretold all of these. You know, these dark, dark times that are ahead of us. You know, it's all across the land. Now. The world is unraveling at an exponential rate. And it's all unraveling by the hands of the Demon Lord. Now, the Demon Lord is just not a physical presence. The Demon Lord is everything. It is everywhere. It is the diseases that are killing all of the crops. It is the plagues that are rampaging populations all across the lands. It's everything. It's everywhere, like I said. It's the demons and the devils that are coming uh, out of the rifts from hell into our mortal world. So, you guys want to be adventurers, right? Do you guys have what it takes to help save the world that we all live in? Starting here in the Northern Reach. Do you guys have what it takes? And are we in our last days? We'll find out. So, <clears throat> we're going to be starting in central northern reach in the old woods. All right. When you guys logged in, you saw that I had a message of the day pop up for you guys. Hopefully you read the message of the day. I gave you a couple of ideas. I have injected several small villages and a couple small towns into the old wood. One of them is the Asylum. Well, one of them is called Asylum, a very small farming community. One is Last Hope, a small town, pretty much a caravan stop, and it's pretty much the central point of the old world, uh, old wood. And uh, it, is, it is actually like a hub where caravans stop rest, resupply, repair their wagons, do a little bit of trading business with other caravans, etc, etc. So it's probably your main focal point of the old wood. There's Fletcher's Rest, a very small town, and it has a very large following of the Cult of the New God. And one of the main attractions, one of the main features of Fletcher's Rest is that there is a very famous tomb of a famous martyr of this cult of the new god. And travelers and visitors and congregations all across the lands, not only the northern reach, but all of Earth, 
come to visit this tomb of the martyr. It supposedly has mystifying and magical powers that help all of the followers of the cult of the new god. And then there's Respite. Respite is a small village. It also has a pretty large following of the cult of the new god, which all throughout the northern reach you will notice that a lot of the cult of the new god does worship um, you know, in, in the northern reach. And in Respite, they've actually built a, a new temple that is dedicated to the cult of the new god. So those are four small towns and villages that are in the old world. Now, all four, all five of you, all know one another. How you guys know one another, this is all up to you. So, where are we at, at a, as a party? You guys, you guys can be in one of uh, these small areas. You could have been in maybe there's in, in the old force is also known for its it's a very strong lumber from the trees. There are a lot of lumber mills in the old world, uh, old wood. There are quite a few uh, farming communities, not named. There's maybe there's a town that you guys are from. Or maybe you're all from a certain town. Whatever the name is, it's in the old world, old wood. I don't know why I keep calling it the goddamn old world, but it's the old wood. Were you part of a caravan well, I, that stopped? Yeah. I'll turn it over to you I guys. I would say, uh, Giles, man, you know, he, he's totally with the new god, Astrid, and stuff, you know, <laughs> and uh, I'm just, you know, I got the spirit in me, Dave, and I'm just trying to spread the word, man. I think I'd probably be hanging out in Fletcher's Rest or something, dude, you know. Uh, <laughs> no, just kicking it, trying to find somebody to fill my pipe for me, man. Lo lots of priests of the new god here, you know, it's a... Uh, uh, they all think I'm crazy because I'm constantly talking about the spirit within me. So, you know, I'm just hitting up any uh, visitors to the tomb of the martyr trying to get my pipe filled, you know, just kicking it here you know, on the side of the fucking street in my dirty robes. <laughs> all right, Giles. I like it. Giles. Giles. Is, yeah, Giles is from uh, Fletcher's Call Rest. So I like that. I don't care. Honeysuckle, where are you from in the in the old world? Well, pixies aren't actually from this world. You are a creature of the Fae. Mm -hmm. But when I came into this mortal coil, um, I actually went to Mistwood to wreak a little havoc. And I was kind of captured there by this terrible, terrible hag. Of course, you know, all she really did was make me steal the souls of children by luring them to her place. <laughs> well, the, old, the old candy bait, huh? Uh-huh. I mean, well, they can see me. Not a lot of people can. Mm. And I don't know if I was sold or, or stolen, but somehow there was a shrouded man and in the crossings. And I lived there, and that's where I met my Philip the Frog. Philip the Frog, huh? Wow. When Philip the Frog. So how did you get into and the old woods? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll let you continue. Okay. After the man didn't come home one day and the place was ransacked and, and my cage was just broken, we just set out west back to home. So we're just kind of dancing about. All right. So the old so wood. So you're still in the old wood now, honeysuckle. Uh, we we went from the crossings and we're going westward and back to the Mistwood Forest, so I can get back to my home. But we have only made it as far as the old woods. So far. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. So thirteen five two, our precious hobgoblin. 
<laughs> what what is your story, thirteen five two? Yeah, I also I originated from the the Fey, but uh, my family was poor and was almost no food available. So at young age, well, young age for hobgoblin. I left my uh, family and tried to get some money to help them out and I uh, came across a lord that hired me to join his army as a frontline soldier and we had a mission coming into this world and uh, That mission went bad, and uh, I was left alone here. So you're just kind of like a straggler in the old war, old wood, huh? Old world, there it is again. Yeah, and uh, I tried to settle here, but uh, uh, hold on for one one second. Asa said something about coming from another world. Is he an alien? He's f he's Fay. He's from the okay, Fae. Okay, there's a Fae world. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I don't know nothing about See, it. See, there's a lot of... Fae well, folks. Y you would know this uh, as anyone would. There are hidden kingdoms. Okay. And these hidden uh, kingdoms could be hu could be behind a a waterfall on the side of a mountain. It could be behind... A hidden I'd kingdom could I'd be... I'd rather it not be anywhere, dude. It's <laughs> ugly fucking things like this going to keep running out of it, man. Yeah. Let's close that goddamn door to the <laughs> other kingdom. Man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> this have you seen this thing? It looks like a baboon's ass, man. Come on. Shut the <laughs> sorry, fuck up. I'm uh, sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm gonna. Are you? Uh, because that was the next part of my introduction. I've been getting around uh, doing um, working as a mercenary, so. Uh, you can, I can catch you. Yeah, because you are a, a soldier, correct? You were a, sort of like a soldier yeah. for a town, right? Yeah, but also I've done the most shady business now, so... Oh, I can sense some corruption coming on, that's for sure. And that's what I love about this game, is insanity and corruption. How about, yeah. how about old Clanker? Clanker? What is a little bit about you? Okay. So imagine, if you will, someone who thought he had it all was happy until it was taken away from him by a rival. He's not from the old wood, but he ended up there. He'll end up there, trust me. He actually um, primarily started over in Crossing. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, due to his life circumstances, there are some things that he's done in his that he's done in his past life that he doesn't discuss um, very often. It might be able to get be pried out of him or something, but he doesn't really discuss that because those things he did what he had to do to survive. But in the end, what happened was since he's in this, he came back and he's in this this metal body that he has no idea why or for what reason he was made or brought back because uh, when he woke up he was like just like in a room by himself so he had to um, find his own path so to say uh, being that he's in this metal body he was in a, in a he went through a bit of despair he felt that he was no good for anything but fighting and bashing things so he decided to um, he uh, ended up being working kind of working with like um, the uh, local uh, constabulary and he ended up with like uh, part of a caravan that comes that came through the old wood which puts him in there where everybody else is because he came through with his caravan and he's just looking for something to point him in a direction to just kind of help him keep his head on straight and just to to make it out there he felt that he's pretty good at fighting so why not focus on that and so that's how he ends up in the old wood with this caravan that came through. Very nice. I like it here. 
Norv, what's your story? Okay, so Norv is a halfling who grew up several miles uh, away from the town of Good Fortune. And one afternoon, a quiet afternoon, a demon swarm and a bunch of monsters took over the village, killing his parents and most of everyone else in his small town, and he was left for dead. He did, shortly thereafter, he decided to flee to the town of Good Fortune, and he didn't have a whole lot of options at that time and he needed uh, something in his stomach so he decided to join the military there and uh, undergo training as a soldier um, while he was undergoing training as a soldier Norv showed proficiency at, at the skills of wood carving and climbing so the so, so the uh, military assigned him to a wood cutting unit Ooh. Uh, and uh, he got along really well with his uh, fellow with his uh, fellow members of the unit to which he was assigned, and they were very always very to have, happy to have a halfling in the group. All known that halflings bring luck. Um, and eventually, he became tired of uh, tired with the military, and instead of signing up for another tour of duty, he decided to strike out on his own and seek his own adventures. And he wandered around the earth for a little while until he. Heard, heard that some weird going ons were uh, happening in the old wood area, and uh, since his since his uh, background with his background as a woodcutter, he decided, well, that's right up my alley. So he decided he'd uh, go check out what's going on in the old wood. Nice, I like that. Well, all of you have been acquainted with one another for um, let's see, how much time have you guys actually known each other? No, I mean, like I say, I, I pretty much hang around Fletcher's Rest. Uh, how do I come in contact with some fae, a fae monstrosity and a beautiful little fae uh, finger dancer there? <laughs> a finger dancer. Finger you dancer. Know, I picture I like her dancing on the end of your finger, you know. Well, I'll tell you guys. I am eight and a half inches tall. And this robot man, I guess he's just guarding a caravan or some sort of a protectotron 5000. Okay, here, see, man. what probably happened is that old um, Giles over there was probably. G <laughs> Love, G Money, whatever you want to He was probably at. over there <laughs> trying to do his thing. He was starting to get harassed. And Clanker wasn't having any of it, so he stepped just in. Just trying to fill my pipe, robot man. Help a brother out. That's right. He just stepped in to stop them from, like, roughing up Giles because he's over there doing what he has to do to try to fill his pipe. So, Giles, so Clanker sort of, like, you know, he could probably use some looking after. So, so Clanker started hanging out with Giles because, well, Giles needs somebody yeah. to look after him because he ain't gonna look after himself. I mean, and this, life. and this, according to the new god and Lady Astrid and stuff, man, this thing is like a freaking abomination, man. It's got a human soul trapped inside of it, you know. And uh, I feel like this soul is calling out to me, man. I want, I want to convince this soul to be released back to go towards heaven and the afterlife into Lady Astra's warm embrace. So yeah, uh, I kind of take into this this robot, this half man, half toaster oven. So uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, oven, I, I'm letting him feel like he, he he's uh, looking out for me. But you know, it, which he probably totally is looking out for me, Dave. I have no <laughs> no no sort of self preservation uh, uh, thing programs running. But uh, <laughs> but I, I'm feeling like you know this this is my duty to release this thing's soul back in, into where it should be going, you know, instead of trapped in this fucking metal shell for eternity. Alright. So and, it, and it probably took a clanker over to a, you know, a vaudeville show, considering he's hippy dippy over there, even though he should be old face. <laughs> and that's probably where he met Philip and introduced Honeysuckle. Uh, she was over there putting rusty nails in drunk dwarves ears. <laughs> wow. Whoa, whoa, man, what a little bitty lady. Watch out, don't don't stand on the end of my pipe, man. Sometimes it's hot, you don't want to burn your little feet, baby. North would have been fascinated by the uh, construct and said, come up to him and said, I've never seen anything like you before, can I touch you? <laughs> Yeah, probably it was just in me going on in the streets. Somewhere. So if you guys so my question is what what kind of metal is Flanker made out of? He's nickel plated, of course. No he ain't. 
<laughs> Actually, he's a he's a brawn. Brawn. What, what color is that? I think that's what I said. Hang on. Can we make these character sheets any larger, or that's just the size they that's, are? That's, that's the size, it, man. Like, that's the size. But you need some glasses or something, bud? Pick, 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 pick a color, Tier, man. First thing that jumps into your head. What's your favorite color? No, hang on. Neon green. Heck no. Rose gold. Rose gold, okay. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't mind being rose gold. Okay, yeah, I like rose gold. But man. no, he's not rose gold. Stop it. Motherfucker got to have some bling on him. He got, tell me he got diamonds <laughs> running across with his arms and stuff. Come on. <laughs> God. So what do you think his teeth are made out of? Oh, he's got teeth. Oh, God. This thing mimics a human being, man. It's a <laughs> uh, One of these days, uh, that soul is going to be totally corrupt from, from being forced to, to remain in the in this box here. Willie, I'm impressed with the new with the new voice. I think it was bro. I think I did make him bro. <laughs> voice, man. Yeah, yeah, it's not. I think I it's did my make him bronze, so I'm going to go with that. Bronze. All right, bronze, all right. Okay. Like shiny or like dull burnished bronze? I mean, let's get specific. He's a dull burnished bronze. Ah, uh, okay, I got you, got you. Ooh, luckily it's bronze. <laughs> so, Lord Acid, how did you come come in contact with Wee Willie and, well, I'm sorry, with uh, Giles I, and Honeysuckle and, and Clanker? I think Giles. And the rest would have seen me going around the streets. Oh, I would have definitely seen that thing. So totally, totally. My perception oh. is, is so well I, enough to see this monstrosity. Well, and seen is a very relative term. High up. On that pipe of yours. Because most, most of the times I saw you. You were just laying there. Uh, well, I mean, you're you're like in the military, dude. Surely you get like pipe pipe weed rations and stuff, man. Can't you just help a brother out, man? Why? I oh, mean, man, I, I don't do that pipe weed. I would think somebody like you would want as many friends as possible, man. Come on, uh, the, hey. the new the new guy the new goddess lady the actually new to God, bless fuck you. Just new pack God, it up fuck for the me. Old gods, fuck the old gods, fuck old gods, yeah. Oh my God, what blast, dude? Uh, God, I just asked for a uh, pinch of pipe weed and this. It's kind of fucking, I, I kind of turn away from him and start walking off, you know, mumbling and hugging. <laughs> like no. always, like always. So, Lord Acid is... So is hostile. Yeah, because you, you, know, you guys are all kind of hanging out in Fletcher's Rest. And Lord Acid, they're not, they're not taking too kind to a hobgoblin being in the presence of, you know, the children in the streets and whatnot, so... You know, as long as you've got coin, they'll take your coin and provide you services and whatnot. But they're not yeah, but they're not welcoming you with open arms, like, much like they would not uh, an orc or you know a, a changeling in its times, in its hybrid form. Most of the times when I come out is during the evenings, late evenings, nights. Okay. If I'm just going to walk around, if I have to, something to do, yeah. I'm out right there during the day, but... Would I have run rest? into him at night, you think? <clears throat> God, nobody. <laughs> this worse to see him in the broad daylight, to be honest with you. I'm sure you probably would have. I mean, Fletcher's Rest is not a... It is not I'm a big I'm hitting everybody up, man. I'm basically a beggar for all intents and purposes. I see this cloaked, fucking hunched figure walking down the the, the, the streets at night, pitch and I, I, I approach him. Hey, hey brother, man, get, got a pinch of pipe weed you can spare, man. Yeah, no, I always tell you I don't do pipe weed, so ah, fuck it's off. It's you again, <laughs> <monster>. <laughs> <Demon> <laughs> So, <laughs> so I run into Giles and so and say, "Oh, you would have loved the half link pipe weed fields. We used to do snow angels in them." Oh, uh, surely some managed to uh, survive in that pouch of yours there. I, I eyeball his fucking bullets. <laughs> as, as his as his voice has changed. <laughs> so Norv, 
<laughs> you've actually you've actually found some work here at Fletcher's Rest. On the outskirts of, of Fletcher's Rest, there are a couple of lumber mills, and you've actually been able to find work. You know, and then you know as you get paid and whatnot, etc. You travel right over to Fletcher's Rest to spend your coin, and this right. is how you. How did you run into? Yeah, how did you run into? He's okay, man. Yeah. He's okay. Yeah. How did how, how yeah. did you run into these guys? <clears throat> I probably first saw the construct and was fascinated by him, and then I would have seen the construct trying to save Giles' life, and uh, would have started talking to Giles about the pipeweed halfling fields that he want, probably wants to oh, use yeah, at one day. Oh yeah, And uh, and uh, started told, and then I would tell everyone. Uh, I love it. So, I, th I think I found some work here out in the out, out in the uh, lumber yards. Uh, Anyone else interested in coming along? Work? Uh, good work. Uh, I, uh, surely I actually have work I should be doing elsewhere, gentlemen. Uh, but yeah, what, would this work pay? Like enough coin to actually buy a pouch of pipe weed? Oh, I'm sure it would. We're still in paid negotiations right at the moment. Uh, wow, this sounds very complicated and corporate, dude. Are, are you sure? Are you sure this is a legit job? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. A long time yeah. in the military. Yeah, you're you're getting uh, paid from a from a lumberjack, which is also another uh, a, a clockwork. So you were in fat you were infatuated with him first. He he you know basically uh, his name is Fisty the Pal Fisty the Plowbot. Now, oh, my God. oh God. Yeah. he's the foreman of the lumberjack. He mill. is he is the foreman of the lumberjack mill. And oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> So you're infatuated with him as and uh, as well, and he and he has this this arm on his arms. He detaches his arms and he puts saw blades on them, and that is you know one of the he's like a huge processing machine, and you know he is he is also the the, the foreman of the lumber mill, so he's the one that actually pays you. So yes, you you know that uh, they are looking for more able bodies at the lumber mill. Whoa, ho, 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 little lumberjack dude. Uh, we wouldn't have to, like, cut fucking wood and stuff, would we, man? I mean, that sounds like a very thirsty work, if you catch my drift. <laughs> let's, go have, let's go have a glass of ale and, and discuss this. Uh, negotiate this further. Yeah, let's go find a table of... Table Morris, of bar, so thank yeah, you very yeah, much we're, for we're the follow-up. Uh, Morris. Uh, sure, uh, sure. Everywhere is yeah. good, man. Yeah, but the the uh, the smoke coming out of that one down the way here it looks most appealing, brother. Let, let us be all. There is okay. an inn here in Fletcher's Rest, and it is called whatever you want it to be. I'm, let, I'm yeah, letting yeah, you guys yeah. create a lot yeah. of this stuff. I I want to give it a name. I have a goofy name, but I'm like, no, nope, I'm gonna let them create it. Dave have a goofy name for an inn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody named this thing, man. The, it, the, the, the billowing clouds or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, not the horizon. billowing clouds. The bent wood in. All right, the bent what wood in. The, the dead, bent wood in. The bent wood in. All right, okay. Sounds uh -huh. like me when I roll over funny in the morning. But Pixie dust, really. Like, yeah. Don't trust that <laughs> goblin. Oh, 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 I know check Swan. this place out. The aroma of pipe smoke is distinct in the air around it, my friend. There's surely a bowl in here to be had. While I have no need for drinking or eating, I shall accompany you. Look, friend, that soul that's trapped encased in that metal uh, carcass of yours at one time enjoyed food and beverage and lived a full life, man. Just release and go back to Lady Astrid's embrace, too. Come on. Yeah, uh, but you can watch us drink, man. Maybe your your soul will remember it. Thank you again, Swan. <laughs> you look very capable, friend. Have you ever chopped wood or cut wood before? <laughs> Um, no, I have not, but I'm sure I would be good at it if I put my mind to it. Yeah, it looks like he's capable of chopping enough wood for two people, right? As I kind of elbow nudge uh, the robot uh, clanky here. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you could take a take down a tree in one swing. Yeah, me, me and you are, 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 are tree partners, dude. You cut all the fucking trees while I sit back and look for fucking smoke. <laughs> <laughs> and where is the benefit?